is part of my series of slow motion videos for very visual learners, and I am going to demonstrate provisional cast on using a crochet hook. A provisional cast on is a cast on that you can do with scrap yarn and then start knitting with your, your uh, actual working yarn, you can take out the cast on later to pick up live stitches at that end of the work. And I know people will have never used this before thinking, oh, how can I use this? It's really only necessary if your pattern calls for it. Um, in my patterns, I use them a lot in toe up socks. I also have used them um, for scarves that are knit in the round and then reconnected to each other to make a cowl, kind of a, a tube connected. Um, lots of different uses for them and the traditional way of working this is to make a crochet chain and then use your knitting needle to pick up stitches in the spine of the crochet chain. And I hear all the time that people do not like picking up stitches in the <laughs> spine of the crochet chain. This is an alternative to doing it that way. It's a bit easier, I think. Let's go slow-mo. I have my yarn and a knitting needle and a crochet hook. Remember we use scrap yarn for this. I'm going to tie a knot in the end of my yarn because it will become important later to be able to distinguish the slip knot end from the other end and that knot will remind us where the slip knot is. So I'm making a slip knot. And I'm going to take the crochet hook and just chain a few stitches. You don't really have to know how to crochet to do this. You'll see that I'm just going to grab the yarn and pull it through the loop on the hook a few times just to get us started. Take your needle I'm using a DPN, you don't have to. Line it up next to the crochet hook with the working yarn in back. Reach the crochet hook over the needle, grab the yarn, and pull it through. That's one stitch cast on. Pull the yarn back behind the needle, reach the crochet hook over, grab the yarn, and pull it through. Every time you're going to put the working yarn back behind the needle, reach over, pull the yarn through the hoop, the loop on the crochet hook. Behind the needle, Grab the yarn and pull it through. And it doesn't matter if you're using double pointed needles or circular needles or straight needles. You can use any needle for this. And then I'm going to finish with a few crochet chains. And I can cut the yarn, remembering this is scrap yarn. And then pull that in through the last loop to secure it. But don't pull that too tightly because you're going to unravel from there. And one last thing, remember we tied the knot in the yarn to mark the slip knot end. And that's it. Provisional cast on using a crochet hook where you don't have to pick up stitches from the spine of a crochet chain. Hope that helps. Good luck.